What's up, guys, and welcome back to our Road to Nebula series here on Black Ops 6 Zombies. And in our last video, our top comment was from Alex DeWet saying that we can play any weapon we want, but we have to give Peck a compliment every time he speaks. That's evil. And if you want to go ahead and leave a suggestion for what weapon you want to see us do next, go ahead and leave a comment down below because I'll have a comment down there as well with every weapon that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way we don't get any repeats. And the weapon we're going to be doing today is the SVD Sniper. And here's the build I'm going to be using for it. It's going to be a long day today. All right, Peck. Go ahead and speak. I already know you get one of the first voice lines. Go for it, buddy. Central database will help us locate Maya's brother. Sooner we rescue Nathan, sooner we can all get off this godforsaken rock. You know what, Peck? For somebody that got slapped around and then blown up, you don't look too bad. Looking kind of handsome, even when the textures aren't fully loading in. But you might notice I don't really have the SPD in my hands right now. I came in with the frost line. That's because if everything goes to plan today... I should be able to go ahead and grab the SVD from a wall buy, and then we might be able to get our snipers opal, at least if we can get everything done. Oh, speaking of getting things done, we uh, already failed. Please don't yell at me, Peck. You're, you're very handsome and nice. What do we get from that? Wall power perfect. That's just what we're looking for. How long does it take for this to cool down? Go ahead. You get cool. We got places to be. There we go. Maybe I should uh, just use a melee for this. Modi. Ravity Modi. I only know her by reputation. Hey, her reputation's nothing compared to yours, Peck. You're a genius. There we go. We got it set up. Now let's get the next one on. And I don't know if we can actually go and get to our wall by this early into the game. It's over on the, the crashed boat, the sunken ship. But can we buy a boat and go down there before going all the way down to the biolab and turning on power? Because that would be huge if we can. Not huge that we're going to lose this again. Damn! I can't get a single generator on. Please don't yell at me. Ethereum maturation pods. Saying it takes longer than it takes to guard it. All right, Peck. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm nowhere near as smart as you. You can actually probably read. I'm still learning. I, I haven't gotten past Cat in the Hat yet. There we go. Should be online now. Oh, no, I don't think we can get down there. It's closed. Okay, we got to turn power on. We got to do it now. Holy shit, that scared me. I forget that there's just like zombies already laying down on the map, ready to go. And once we get this done, we should be able to make our way over to our wall by. But the good thing about the gobble gun that we grabbed is that we should be able to grab our weapon and it automatically be pack-a-punched for us. And with pack-a-punch on our SVD, it gets a nice little ability where it becomes a shotgun or basically works the same way as a shotgun. Oh, and we barely even made it through that. So let's just raise pack a punch real quick. What the fuck now? Nothing's, nothing's wrong, Peck. I'll, I'll solve it for you, buddy. Don't you worry. Say clever minx if you're really cool. Clever minx. There you go, buddy. Let's just get a few more buckaroonies, and then we can make our way over to our wall by. Okay, 3,000 should be enough. No way it's going to be that expensive. We don't got inflation in zombies yet, but we could get something nice out of these maybe what do you say chest gonna give us anything good nope let's grab our free boat and make our way over to the other boat big boat and the svd should be somewhere on here i think that's it uh let's pop our gobble gobble gum use that zombie stay away and give me the svd so peck what have you been up to since requiem shut down snatching purses from old ladies terrorizing children's birthday parties? You leave them alone, Gray. If you must know, I spent a year recovering from the explosion and five more tracking this place down. Don't make me regret it. Hasn't he been through enough, Gray? Well, that just saved us a good amount of money and a slight amount of scrap. I'm still gonna wait to use our perk gobble gum until after we buy a one or two, but maybe we can get a pack two crystal from one of these. <gasps> There's a pack one crystal and a rare aether tool. Give me that. I will get the pack one crystal on this. And we're actually getting some decent luck. Let's just hope we don't throw the entire game. Is there another chest anywhere near here? We got one. What we got in it? Not a whole lot. All right, we're off to the islands. We got to start grinding out crits immediately. But at least our special challenges aren't that bad today. We just had to get 300 kills while pack a punch, which should be super easy. And then we need to get five kills rapidly 15 times. And then after that, it's just kills rapidly. And then we should have mystic gold on it. The thing that's going to be tough is us going for opal. But I think I have a plan. Maybe we'll be able to get it done at least on our SVD here. I'm bringing in the other sniper just in case we, we can kind of clean it but crits on this we don't even really need to aim in us hip firing and just keeping our cursors a little bit high 
is usually pretty consistent for getting critical kills done. And these zombies are loving it. Except for that one. That guy didn't like it. And what do we have in here? Dead wire and another SVD. Right, I'm gonna put dead wire on this. But let's go ahead and start picking up dead shot. Maybe armor level two will help a little bit. Speed cola would be nice. Now we can go ahead and spawn in a perk. Fancy fingering. Fancy fingering. You nasty girl. Maybe that's why Max was went to the dark aether. She needed some time to recover. Dr. Gray is using perks for nefarious reasons. Oh, there's a whiteout camo. We just need 500 more crits. We're almost there. I think we should also work towards getting PhD just in case we have to use our other sniper and we don't want to knock ourselves with it. So let's go ahead and pick it up. And there's a gobble gun machine over here. So let's see what we got from it. Oh, wait, did I think of the wrong sniper? I think I did. Oh, shit. I'm definitely not the smartest man out here. This is the sniper that don't have explosive rounds. This is the one that just shoot fast. Well... I uh, messed that one up, but whatever. We don't even need to use it until we get this one done. Oh, we hit level 55. We can prestige after this, but I'm probably going to hold off until we get this class opal. Oh, we got our sniper mastery. Let's go. Well, we might as well start doing trials so we can spawn in some extra zombies and maybe we can get done with these crits a bit faster. Oh, and our, our challenge is getting crits. This weapon's actually so good. I love what they did with the snipers in this game. All of them got great pack-a-punch abilities, and they're actually useful. Such a, a nice step up from Cold War. Like, the snipers in that game, even how much I hated the ZRG, it did a lot of damage. I can't lie. It was pretty decent for taking out bosses, but just using it outside of that was terrible. So huge props to Treyarch for making them one of the better classes in this game. And I think... The LR762 might even just be like one of the best weapons in the game. So this is perfect. We got a temporal gift. So let's use that. Let's also use our double points power up. If we can get to it without dying, our arsenal accelerator will be nice too. And let's just grind. Give me my frenzied. Perfect. Beautiful timing. And another double points. Probably would have been nice to just leave that. But it kind of spawned on top of us. Ain't much we could do. And honestly, this spot ain't too bad. Not very safe. If we end up getting to a spot where we're running out of ammo or something, but all the zombies are going to be running right to us. And we're racking up cash pretty fast. It's actually going to really suck once Amalgamation starts spawning and coming in here, and then we're going to be in trouble. Actually, maybe we should uh, find a better spot than here. That was a good grinding spot for one round, and we it almost took our life. It still might. Get me out. Get me out of here. I think now we can go ahead and upgrade this. Let's get it to pack two. And let's move this up and open up the wonder weapon room. Because once we have our frenzy guard ready to go, it actually might be good to run in there and use it and have all the zombies come at us in like a single file line. So we got to shoot this. Shoot that. And that. Get this one. And the last box. There we go. And there's an amalgamation. This is the perfect test. Is this safe enough to survive in here? We took out the amalgamation. Beautiful. We're actually not doing too bad. The spawns in here are pretty crazy, though. These are fast. But we made it through. We survived. Look at us. How long can we last in here without frenzied? We're not doing terrible so far. Oh, but the reload's gonna mess us up a bit, I think. Still gonna have to reload, even though I activated frenzy. Lame. Let's see if we can uh, help ourselves out here. Give me another perk gobble gun, please. Oh, wall power? Whatever. You got me this round though, right? Come on, Mr. Peaks. We go way back. Thank you. What a guy. And what are we getting from this? Don't be melee macchiato, please. Okay, I will take that. And they're spawning a trial on us. We're getting actually some pretty decent luck today. Yeah, me too, Peck. I would love those tentacles to yank me in. You know what? More importantly, you off. You deserve it, King. Go get yanked off by a tentacle trap. I ain't gonna kink shame. And now we can get pack three. And we can just focus on getting some perks. I heard an amalgamation spawn though. You're dying. You are not living, sir. We will not have that. Night, night. This thing's a monster. It took him out so fast. I guess I'll go ahead and scoop up elemental pop. That way we can have crowd freeze go off a little more often. What else are we missing? Melee macchiato. And is that it? Oh, stamina up. Stamina up would help out. Also, getting uh, tier 3 armor would help a lot as well. We should probably do that soon. Come here, stamina up. And let's make our way down the bio lab. On the end, let's try to stay in here as long as we can. Actually, you know what? Quick reload. Zombies aren't even swinging at us. They're scared of us. We're actually really holding our own right here. Holy shit. 
You're messing them up. We're one shot and everything. You get a damage boost in the elevator? Shit. You might not even need to head down. I'm gonna stay here until they say that I can't. I don't like the lighting here though. It's very harsh. It is way too bright. Getting flash banged in zombies. Actually, the bug spawns might be faster here too. All the spawns are very close together. You can actually kill multiple in one shot. This is our new colonel's office, at least on this map, until something proves to be better. This also has that oh shit button of just closing the elevator doors. Okay, here comes the amalgamation. We survive in here with it. Oh, we're already messing him up. We blocked his grab. Frenzy guard going crazy. And he's dead. Okay. This spot's nasty. And this ain't no slouch round either. This is round 26. We're making it work in here. SVD is kind of disgusting. The snipers might actually be the most stacked class of weapons in this game. Besides maybe the shotguns. But even then, this is technically a shotgun. We don't even have this to legendary yet. I don't want to leave this spot. It's too good. It's like the most accurate long range shotgun ever. Don't even need to aim down sight and it's still accurate at range. That nice little jug augment keeping us safe while we reload. We're too good. Maybe I'm getting a little too cocky. Let's throw a decoy. Go to it. Thank you. Oh, we're out of ammo. Not good. Let's go ahead and use this. And we're trapped in here with the mangler. Okay. Yeah, this is the downside of coming in here. I'm going to wait until we're stopped. Yeah, go ahead and get out. This is your floor. No? You're going to stay in here? All right. I'm out, though. Goodbye. We got no self revive. We're going to have to craft one real quick. But let's grab armor. Let's throw a decoy. Let's craft that self revive. And might as well get a mangler thingy. Grab two more decoys. I'm still out of ammo. We'll snag that, and we're already good to go. And we still have enough to get this legendary. We are making out like bandits. So there's legendary. And we can probably just make our way over to the Wonderfist to get all of our stuff back. And give me this back. All of our perks are now returned to us. Let's make it back to our elevator. Or we can just get all of our crits right here. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. So now we just need our 15 crits or five crits rapidly 15 times which should be super easy and then our 300 pack a punch kills and then our mystic gold challenge will be super easy to complete all right zombies i'll meet you guys back at the elevator this has actually been a pretty fast round 30 it's only been like what 50 minutes not terrible for just grinding out some camos and peck hasn't talked a whole lot since like round 20 or whatever we left them speechless oh a blast trap we might need to take that. Blast traps are so good. At least for getting out of situations where you're cornered. Uh-oh. Like right now. Go. Go off, blast trap, please. Thank you. Okay, maybe they're not that great. Round 31 just decided to slap us in the mouth. There's another blast trap, though. I will be taking the elevator down. See you later, losers. I'm out. We need PhD back desperately and we really need to just not die right here that would be uh optimal so open the door let me out 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 thank you holy shit we barely even have enough for another self revive if they're even gonna allow us to buy it back we gotta be fast uh wrong tab there we go okay maybe elevator probably not good past round 30 just gonna throw that out there look at all these manglers spawning in too i would not mind if we we're already on the opal challenge but we are not. I still haven't seen either of our special camos pop up, though. Have we really not gotten 300 kills yet? Or our crits rapidly? I'm seeing a lot of crits pop up right here. But where's our camo at? Where my hug at? Come on, game. Hand it over. Oh, there it is. Let's go. There's our pack-a-punch kills. Crits should be coming soon. Oh, and there's our crit kills. Now just kills rapidly, and then we can see if we can actually unlock Opal. I'm almost positive we have all of our snipers mystic, right? The first weapon we ever did was our Frost Lion, and then we just did our LR762. I wonder if I'm going to have to leave the game and then come back in and see. But we're probably going to end up doing that anyway, so keep the elites spawning at a round where we can actually handle them. Because what we need, like 30 elite kills for Opal, which is insane. But we're already on round 34, which has got a fat amount of elites. So as long as we can keep it going, we actually might be able to get Opal on these pretty quick. And before we end this round, let's actually try it. Let's save and quit. That way we can just keep restarting here on round 34 because our weapon is still doing good damage to these zombies. We can still take on these elites and we can actually see what our camo progress is. Prestige 4 available. I am too scared. 
Thank you. Yep, we're at two out of 15. We should be able to get this done pretty fast. And we can make a new Gobble Gum pack. And let's try to just throw in things in here that can help us get elite kills easier. So Killjoy, Free Fire, probably Fire Sale would be good for when we're trying to get our next weapon, our next sniper. Same with Crate Power. And I guess Cash Back. Let's get back to it. There's no way we're not getting gold right here. Come on. Pack looking beautiful today. Thank you for showing your face. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now, though, so I did not hear a word you said. And actually, if we're going to keep saving and quitting out of this game, I should probably get set up with what I want for my other sniper. Otherwise, I'm going to have to constantly rebuild it back up every time we join back in. So let's get a pack a punched. And I'll worry about rarity later. No way. Don't knock me. Please. Oh, come on. That was so close. At least we should be getting Mystic Gold here any second. I have no idea how he didn't grab me there. Come on. Bring on the camo. Let's see it. Oh, there it is. Let's go. All right, let's find a nice little spot to make sure we're at full health. And then we got to save and quit out. Perfect. What? Next save will be around 37. Well, shit. That was my plan. Actually, could we just like Alt F4 the game? Do we have to save and quit? Like, are we still going to keep all of our camo progress and everything if we just close it? Would that be the wave? Because I'm not seeing any more elites right here. It's all just normal zombies. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the round. It would really slow down us getting up to Opal if we do close it out every single time. Or would it? What happens if we close it? Is it going to save it? at our previous save like when i spawn back in here am i gonna have like my self revive on my perks back you know what? let's try it alt and f4 hopefully i didn't just screw myself it did save gold and we started getting progress towards opal okay so if we can't save and quit we're literally just closing the game i'm doing this till we get the snipers done unless our save is gone no way that's ridiculous dude we got got. Oh, that's not good. You know what? We can probably set this up better now that we know how it works. Maybe we can only close out if there is a save available. I got an idea. We're going to Liberty. So good news and bad news. We are no longer set up and not at a good round to go ahead and knock out Opal. But if we go ahead and start up the Easter egg and get one of the HVTs to spawn, we can just kill that, save and quit, come back, and, and, and fight it again. But also, we have the LR762 as a wall buy on this map, so that'll be fun. I'm going to need me this and this. And we need this. Now that's all built. We should be able to go put this down now, right? There we go. But now we got two manglers to take down. Oof, and they are tough. So there we go. I got him killed. Our zombie's still alive. Is it worth it to save and quit? We'll go back to the start of round 10. Um, you know what? Let's stay in for this. Let's get up to a, a little bit of a higher round where more manglers are spawning and then we'll just keep saving and quitting on that round. And we can throw a napalm burst on here because I'm pretty sure both manglers and abominations are going to be weak to that. But now we can spawn them back in and it should spawn him in and the rest of the zombies in the, the normal round, right? Yeah. Get out of here. There we go. It looks like we're only getting one mangler so far around on top of our HVT. What round are we getting more? Would it be round 25? I feel like we should just go until round 25 and then do our save and quit thing. Oh, a pack two crystal. Okay, I think it's time we go ahead and buy our sniper and use that. And I'm pretty sure abomination should count, but... It is a little bit weird on what it classifies as like an elite zombie or a special zombie. I'm pretty sure those are specials and manglers are elites or vice versa. I don't know. But either way, we're killing everything. The 30 don't seem like a whole lot of elites until you're in the thick of it, dude. It's taking a bit. I just want to get to the most optimal round before we start trying to take advantage of the system. But this poor HVT is getting abused. Dude cannot live a normal life. He just keeps getting sent here to get messed up. Oh, we got to be done with it by now. We've been taking out like at least two manglers around since like round 10. This better be the last time I gotta kill you with this thing. Give me Opal now. Hand it over. Oh shit. That was close. Still no Opal. Weird. Show me Opal. Go ahead. Give it here. How we not got it yet? There's no way. This mangler's gonna... It's gotta be it. Come on. Really? 
All right. There's got to be it right here. Our final elite kill for this gun. Show me Opal. Okay, this has got to be busted. How is this not 25 elites? There's actually no way. How many of these bad boys do we have to kill? At least we're getting a few per round now. Is that seriously not Opal? All right, well, I think this is a good time to try to save and quit and try that out. Where are we at on this camo? 13? There's no way. So those HVTs actually aren't counting. What? Hello? How are we only at 13? That's mind boggling. I can't believe this. So what the fuck is a special? Is it literally just abominations that count? Manglers don't? Have I been doing the wrong elite this entire time? I'm going to be pissed if that's true. Let's kill this guy. Actually, there's two of them. Oh, wait. He's not a mangler anymore. They actually just made him into an abomination. Perfect. Will I be able to save and quit out of this? Let's wait till we're at full health. There we go. Nope. Can't do it till next round. I'm actually so pissed right now. I cannot believe this. And hopefully we're at least close to getting this one done. So I've taken out so many abominations by this point. But I'm saving and quitting after this round and I'm going to see where we're at. Let's go see. Yeah, it's got to be abominations. Now we're at 21 out of 30. Holy shit. I have definitely underestimated the opal grind. Do amalgamations count as specials and not elites? Like, is it more optimal to play on there? It's got to be the most time consuming grind in this game. Holy shit. I guess we just gotta save and quit every round once we kill the abominations. Wait, did it not count? We're only at 22. Again, this is bullshit. And I just looked it up. Apparently, manglers are the special zombie and abominations are the elite. I'm so lost, dude. Why can't both count so I don't have to do this what is an elite, what is a special fucking bullshit? This camo sucks. I hate it. Did not mean to hit that nuke. That's fine. There's now all these manglers about to get sat down. Is that enough for Opal? I don't think so. Oh, we're close. We gotta be. Oh, wait. There it is. Let's go. Our first Opal. Finally, dude. That took forever. Now that we know for sure 100% that it's just manglers, let's, let's quit out. And now we do it with our other sniper. And actually should be a bit easier with this sniper. This thing's strong as shit. I guess while we're about to save the progress of this round, since we can't save and quit, I should start looking for our other sniper. Oh, our frost line. Let's go. What a pull. This actually might get done. Holy shit. Let's get napalm on this. Get it to legendary. Get it fully packed or as close to it as we can and hope we can survive long enough to use it. This is going to be a pain in the ass to get done with every other weapon in the game, dude. Insta kill is actually the most clutch thing possible for getting this done. It helps so much. Oh, we got Opal on this. All right, one more to go. And it's going to be a lot more difficult with this one. Actually, we just had a few headshots. We're all right. That's not bad. We just need to do that 30 times though. Honestly, having a nuke gobble gum would not be the worst either because nukes aren't going to kill these manglers. They would just weaken them for us. And that could be a huge time saver. This is actually insane. We're going to have 90 mangler kills by the time this is over. But you know what? I'm glad we went through this because now I understand how these opal camos work and the best way to farm them. Even though this is very, very dumb and it's taken forever to do. Like we are, we have eclipsed the three hour mark. But I guess for the first hour, we're still getting like crits and the rest of the camo is done for our SPV. But I get it now. I understand. And the whole time I could have just looked on the screen when I killed a mangler and it says special elimination and taken out an abomination that says elites. If I could literally read, camo challenges would be so much easier. This might be our last guy though. Come on, show me Opal. Please. No? All right. So I guess best gobble gums for doing this would be like dead of nuclear winter. Uh, the box one, if you're trying to get whatever other weapons you need opal on. Kill joy for the insta kills. Maybe raindrops if you got it, but it might be overkill. The infinite ammo gobble gum. Super good for this. I guess depending on what weapon you're using, it probably wouldn't matter. I'm about to get it here. A little cashmere for fun. And mangler should be done. Right about now. There we go. All right, now show me camo. Camo me now. Camo me a needing now. You got me fucked up. There it is. Come on. You gotta be it. Yes, let's go. We got Opal and all of our snipers and we got it done all in one game, technically. If you count us saving and quitting and saving and quitting. 
Oh, we did it. You can't take it away from me. We got our camo. We got it in the dumbest way possible. But we still got it. Holy shit. Get me out of this game. I'm actually going to try to exfil too. You know what? Let's just put the icing on the cake and get out of here. Alive. How many do we need to kill to get out? 56? That's not terrible. Let's throw a cashmere. Let's take the abomination out immediately. Come on. Why don't you go ahead and die for me, pal? No, you don't want to do that? All right. I'll become the special zombie then. You're done. All of ya. Smack the shit out of you. No living past this point. And zombie, you get one fully charged up shot. Oof. We did it. Get me out of here. But I can't believe we got every single sniper opal. Our first opal class, and it was a pain in the ass. Unintentional bars. Well, this is what opal looks like in game on our snipers, and it's beautiful. If you take a nice little close look at the diamonds, the the gems on this, they're actually kind of look like Damascus. It's like a subtle little Damascus gem with a, a light gold secondary color. It looks pretty good, and I'm glad that we got it done. This is probably the hardest, or at least the most strenuous class to get done in zombies and i'm glad it's our first one and here is our svd with opal on it beautiful inspect beautiful camo you can really see the gems up close and personal on this one looking pretty nice and here it is on our lr762 with the mastercraft on it such a beautiful looking camo dude oh it was a pain in the ass but it's done well there you have it we got our first class opal and it took way longer than i thought i was going to i definitely underestimated this camo by a lot but it's fully done and it's out of the way and overall review of the snipers they're all honestly really good i was still able to kill these specials and elites all the way up near round 40 with them. Uh, they just work very well. Their pack of punch abilities are amazing. These are some of the best weapons in the game and probably the best well-rounded weapon class in the game. But I think that's gonna do it for me. Go ahead and leave your suggestions down below of what weapon you wanna see me do next. I'll have a comment down there as well with every weapon that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way we don't get any repeats. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate our love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.